Hello everyone, today we are going to study about National Development Council. From the beginning, the National Development Council has been functioning as a high power consultative body for framing the five year plans. In fact, its prime function is to act as a bridge between the union government, the planning commission and the state governments. It helps in the coordination not only of policies and programs of plans, but also other matters of national importance. It provides a good forum for discussion and uh, full and free exchange of views. It is also a device for sharing of responsibility between states and the union government. Central Vigilance Commission. Central Vigilance Commission was set up by the government of India in February 1964 on the recommendation of K. Santhan Committee on Prevention of Corruption. The main task of the Vigilance Commission was to advise and guide the union government agencies in the field of vigilance. Consequent upon the promulgation of an ordinance by the President, the Central Vigilance Commission has been made a multi member commission with statutory status. In August 1988, the commission consists of Chief Vigilance Commissioner and two Vigilance Commissioners. The President appoints members of the Commission on the recommendation of the committee, which consists of the Prime Minister, Minister of Home Affairs and the Leader of the Opposition in the Lok Sabha. The Chief uh, Vigilance Commissioner or any Vigilance Commissioner shall be removed from his office only by order. The President on the ground of proved misbehavior or incapacity after the Supreme Court, on a reference made to it by the President, has on inquiry reported that the Chief Vigilance Commissioner on, or any vigilance commissioner, as the case may be, ought on such ground be removed. Central Information Commission. Under provision of the Right to Information Act 2005, the central government has constituted a body known as the Central Information Commission. The commission includes a chief information commissioner and uh, not more than 10 information commissioners, ICs. Uh, who are appointed by the President of India. The Central Information Commission has a uh, duty to receive complaints from any person who does not receive a decision with the time specified by the uh, Act or is aggrieved by a decision of the Central Public Information Officer or State Public Information Officer and to conduct necessary inquiry and provide with remedy. For this purpose, the Commission has the power for civil court. The parts and functions of the Central Information Commission briefly are to receive and inquire into complaints from persons denied of access to information and to decide on appeals against the decision of designated appellate officers to impose penalties on erring central public information officers and recommend disciplinary action against those who denied access to information to help compensate the complainant uh, for any loss or other damage suffered to make recommendations to public authorities to strengthen the provision of the spirit of the right to information act to examine any record under the central or the public authority to recommend reforms every year on any matter relevant for operationalizing the right to assess information. The Central Information Commission has all the powers of a civil court. National Knowledge Commission The National Knowledge Commission is a high-level advisory body attached to the Prime Minister with the objective of transforming India into a knowledge-based society. It covers sectors ranging from education to e-governance, focusing on knowledge paradigm. Terms of references of the National Knowledge Commission are to build excellence in the educational system to meet the knowledge challenges for the 21st century and increase India's competitive advantage in the field of knowledge, promote creation of knowledge in scientific and technology laboratories, improve the management of institutions, engage in intellectual property rights, promote knowledge applications in agriculture and industry, promote the use of knowledge capabilities in making government an effective, transparent and accountable service provider to citizens and promote 
widespread sharing of uh, knowledge and maximize public benefit the nkc consulted a wide range of stakeholders and experts on each area before submitting the recommendations to the prime minister each area has a working group which is headed by a prominent person in that field the working group members meet several times to submit a report to the nkc the nkc members then hold discussion on the report before submitting it to the prime minister after submitting the recommendations and extensive coordination also takes place with the planning commission of india and relevant ministries of the government